Hey, how's it going? I wanted to make this video weeks ago, actually, but I wasn't sure. But after weeks of chilling in my house, not going outside, university classes being cancelled and all, I'm like, hey, let's, let's do it. Let's make an internship video. Okay, so, story time. Way back in October 2019, it was like about a month into my first year of university, and a friend of mine got accepted into Google Step, and she was in first year, which was crazy. And that brings me to my first tip. Apply to internships in your first year. You'll only get this opportunity once. And even if you do get rejected from every company, just going through the application process will give you a lot of insight into how to better prepare in the future. So I was already applying to internships, but after hearing about my friend, that's when I really went ham on this. Here's the Google Docs that I made while doing this. Throughout this whole process of applying to internships, my resume went from this to this. Now my second tip is to learn LaTeX and use LaTeX for your resume. There are tons of top-notch templates out there and Overleaf is a great tool to use to export your LaTeX code into .pdf files. Now as my applications got better, I was eventually contacted by a Microsoft recruiter for the Explore internship. By the way, every big tech company has their own first year internship. Explore is Microsoft's version. Now, obviously, I was super excited because it felt like all my previous rejections were paying off. So I passed the phone screening and I was invited to do on-site interviews in Redmond, Washington, which is Microsoft headquarters. Now, the way I prepared for my interviews were crucial. At that point in time, it was around December 2019, which was during finals week, which meant that I didn't really have a lot of time to be doing lead code questions and reading Cracking the Coding interview. Now, this brings me to my third tip. Make sure you study smart. Due to the fact that I didn't really have a lot of time to prepare, I had to get creative. So here's what you do. If you're really committed, get a friend and practice doing an interview with your friend, one being the interviewer and one being the interviewee. What you will find is that doing a coding problem on the whiteboard is very different to doing a coding problem on the computer. Not only that, you're put on the spot and you have to explain your solution. Remember, the point of the interview is for the interviewer to get a gauge on how you think and how you handle difficulty and adversity, not whether or not you memorize the solution on how to reverse a linked list. This was the reason why my first video on YouTube was a mock coding interview video. I legit just got a friend and did lead code problems on the whiteboard. And if I ever failed a question, I get dumped in water. I, I don't even know why I did that. It's it was it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. I like I like I uh, enjoyed doing that video. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Be sure to smash that like button and finesse the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload. And I will see you guys later.